Hello everyone and welcome back. Um, I am on with a quick little um, project share before I mail this out. This is for um, Patty. She's doing um, it's Cupid's Choice. Um, she's asking for a banner piece of some kind. Um, she's making a banner and it could be like a a banner, like a fishtail banner. It could be a envelope. It could be a tag. It can be, you know, whatever. So I thought I'd come on and show you what I made <coughs> so that I can get it sent off to her. So I already packaged this all up. So let me show you. I put it on this um, piece of paper right here that I strung a, a string on so it would hang. So I didn't have to let me take that off. Okay, so here it is. So I made a layered heart. Um, so I have a heart, uh, like a, it's a nesting heart um, die set. <clears throat> so this is it. So it's layered. I did like four different um, layers of the same die. So I didn't do different papers. I just did the same paper over and over again. Popped each one up on foam. In between each layer is... Um, a little, you know, some, um, this pink, um, eyelash trim wrapped around, um, and then in the center I have a pink rosette that I, uh, have up on foam, and then this is a acetate piece right here, let's see, acetate piece right here from a Valentine's collection, I don't remember which one it is, um, and then that's up on foam, and then I have a little, um, that's the arrow, glittered arrow piece from the Dollar Tree stuff that they had. So that's up on Pop Dots, um, and then um, I used one of the Dollar Tree. It was just a plain, you know, wood piece. Uh, the lips, and I coated it with some of my Nuvo drops, and then sprinkled it with glitter, and just put a little gem right there, just for some interest. And then over here, I have a. This is a. This is a little red foil pick that I got. I think at Dollar Tree last year. And so I um, used another acetate piece from the same collection as this, and I used a piece of mylar that I just kind of ruffled up behind, you know, like a like a rosette, to give it some depth up off the the heart. And then I just placed a couple sequins around it, and then I used my crocodile, punched a hole, and then attached this cute little, um, you know, resin piece. Of lips just hung that up there and so it just opens up so that and it's it's pl just plain aside but I made it double so that she could you know hang it over whatever she's hanging it on so that's what I did so I think it turned out pretty cute add a little bow right here on oh, this bow um, Deborah made me thank you Deborah um, she makes the greatest bows and she sent me a ton of them and I I just love just going through my basket and just picking out a color that matches and boom, I pop it on and I don't have to make a bow. <laughs> so anyway, that is that. So that is the banner piece that she was asking for. And then um, she was asking for, for some other, um, the second requirement was a, was a sweet treat. It could be a treat, like actual like candy or something, or it could be a gift or, you know, whatever you wanted. So um, I made, um, I did a couple different things. I went ahead and made a, um, I got little pieces falling out all over in here. I made a little, um, uh, what should I call it, a uh, trim card, uh, that new die that I got, and so I just, you know, layered up. This is the Fala La paper, all this that I use right here. Um, I put the, one of these furry little um, hearts right here. I just kind of tacked it down with right here and then here and here. So this part right here is open. And then this, um, this is one of the Dollar Tree picks. Sorry, one of the Dollar Tree picks. And so I just took it and wrapped some of the pink um, eyelash trim around it. And then I attached a little love um, word um, that I punched out with my love punch. It's a Teresa Collins punch I've had forever. And I layered it up a couple times and then uh, attached it there. And so then I just, like I say, I left this open down here, this this heart. So I just tucking that down inside there. 
so she can take this out and use it if she wants to or you know whatever I just kind of use it for a decorative piece on there and so yeah just text oops sorry just text down in there and then she can pull it out and use it or just leave it inside there okay and then I just attach a cute little um, like a puffy applique bow and then I attach a little crown resin piece right there so anyway and then just got my little sticker on the back and so that is and this uh, trim that I got here wrapped around is some of this that I got at Walmart it's got four different ones on it and I didn't realize it, realize it but it's actually like a um, uh, it's more like a curly ribbon like you like if you were doing a package and you you know you pull it and curl it so I didn't realize that's the kind of ribbon it was but I still thought it was kind of cool so anyway I wrapped it around there just for a little something extra to give it to her so I think it was like two ninety eight or something like that for this roll. And there's four different ones, and I think it said it had eighteen feet of each. So it's not too bad. So I wrapped those around there. So that's one sweet treat. And then I also just um, made a cute little. Um, these are all nothing is attached to anything. It's just all just sitting there, so she can use. The decorations for something else but I just wanted to decorate the bag and I have a little gift in there for her um, so like I said I just wound up some of this um, trim from the Dollar Tree this little bead stuff this is a clip from the Dollar Tree this is a pick that I had a couple from a couple years ago I think can't remember where I got it and then there's a felt heart and then a corrugated heart underneath so anyway just to decorate it but nothing is attached so once she pulls this clip off it's all separate and she can just use this all for whatever Put it in her stash so anyway that is what I'm sending her I hope I'm not too late I didn't even pay attention to when the date was so I'm she's still showing videos so hopefully if I get it off today it'll still get there in time because like I said I forgot to even look at the date of when the cutoff date was so I guess if it doesn't get there in time then she'll just have it extra but anyway um just thought I'd share real quick again that's for Patty who is um what is she mommy and me mommy and me crafts on YouTube so go check it out I'm sure you guys are already all following her but if you're not go give a check I'll link I'll link the channel um, down in the description box so anyway thank you so much for watching I will be back shortly with a the second entry to the um, to my first ever um, swap that I'm hosting so I will be back shortly to share the second entry to that that I just received so anyway okay thanks for watching everybody have a good day. Bye.